Now go over the multimeter screen. Over here? Right there, the multimeter. So it's dropping. Mm -hmm. Okay, now come back over here. Alright, hit stop. Thank you. Take out these two screws to get the inverter to slide out. So you can see with our inverter board here, I have power going to it. The fan has clearly failed, which looks like it allowed some of these components to overheat. Back there, the board's kind of charred. None of the main capacitors have blown. So, looks like a replacement piece is needed. We'll just swap out the whole thing. So I've disconnected the ground common and the hot lead from the left side. Now I'm taking off the negative and the positive for the 12 volt side. Let's see here. There's some pretty heavy cables. There we go. Alright. So this board just pops out with a couple of plastic pins on the top and the bottom to make this easier to get these heavier cables out of the way. So I'm going to go get a replacement inverter and I'll be back. So in our case we need to go with the 8900 um, converter unit. This one was a bit more expensive but it's the lower unit not the entire one which is weird the whole unit is cheaper which comes with all this. Obviously that would be a lot more rewiring, but so the Well, there's the old one. There's the new one. I guess that's the good thing about spending 300 bucks is it's pretty much plug and play. You got your same main cables for the 12 volt. You got your exact same hookup for the 120 which this one also has a little splitter piggyback piece common ground same thing here you got your ground common so it should just be a direct replacement and hopefully this one will last for a while it's got this neat little heat sink up here maybe to help deflect the heat
out. Now run it in underneath. Just make sure you route all the wires back. The two went behind the board and then came out over here. And then the 120 volt wires back there, common neutral ground through the middle plate. The black went to the circuit board and then had the jumper pigtail wire nut. And then you got your common or your neutral there on top common up there on the common board all right it's all ready to fire back up sign over 12 amps or 12 volts well let's see if the original problem is fixed oh here click right on oh, the furnace is coming alive all right let's put her all back together and see if we got some heat tonight So here's the telltale sign if you got it right. Full, when you're plugged into shore power, all lights, you should be on. It means your inverter's charging the battery. Ours was at one third or empty constantly whenever the furnace would kick on because the inverter couldn't keep up with the 12 volt demand. So if your inverter's working, you got a good battery in, you're plugged into shore power, whenever you hit battery, this should always be full.